And I, having been in Papua New Guinea for 40 years and seeing how donor funding was provided all those years ago and then seeing a very important era where civil society grew in Papua New Guinea, but then seeing another era where the international civil society came in and it's like another bureaucracy between the funds that come from DFAT or the funds maybe they come you know, coming from some of the bigger donors, they'll come through an international NGO and then it's a different story. Uh, it's a complicated story. And I think the crisis center and Vanuatu center, I don't know whether Tonga has managed to achieve the same thing, has been able to build its program and be a very credible, very accountable, long-term program, multi-year funding, large-scale funding, without letting that layer of well, it's, it's not just bureaucracy, it's uh, the international NGOs. I should say there's also the international consulting firms. And they are just corporations. They're just money-making corporations. So they come in between as a layer, and a huge amount of money is actually spent at that level before it reaches the real area of need. So I think this is also something that's very unique and needs to be captured in your story, but needs to be shared in that session. Um, it's very important, it's very unusual, it's very unique, and it's, it's, uh, a, it's a, a credit to you that you have been able to do this for so long. Mm -hmm.